hello 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 welcome back to plans on planning i know it has definitely been some time since we last spoke since we last saw each other um but you gotta give me like a break or whatever because it's the summer times so i was out doing things and whatnot so yes i did not plan as i normally would but there was some planning that was involved so don't think i totally like left my ways and my good roots alone but and if I'm my excuses and my reasonings, here we are in September. So that means it's back to the organization, back to getting things in order and done, and back to monthly and weekly spreads. And as you can see, I need to get my September on point because, yes, I did fall off. I'm going to admit it. I fell off. But I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I fell off, but I got up. So... Let's do what we normally do. Get rid of this September. Not that we have anything against September, especially when our August was so amazing. Um, but we just need the space. All right, so what I'm gonna do, dog on it, is just get rid of this September. Like September's here, then October's coming, and we have some amazing things that are gonna happen just for the rest of the year period. So, um, as you can see, September actually starts on a Saturday. So that means we have a lot of space to do a lot of things with, especially when it comes to this week. So what I'm going to do, like here's my washi that I'm using. These are going to be my border washi and this is going to be the washi I'm using to frame out my weeks and my days. And you see, I'm just trying to follow like a nice little pattern, you know, a nice little palette to go along with and everything's coordinating together and things like that. So what I'm actually going to do is, because I have a whole, almost a week to use, I'm going to use these two on the top as well as right here in the week. So I'm taking this off as well. And then I'm just taking this out. And this is just as a precaution. I'd rather be safe than sorry, honestly speaking. And because I'm taking it all the way to the edge of the page. And then I'm just pressing it down just to make sure there's no lumps and bumps or anything. All right. Now it's washi time. So I definitely want to start with this washi. I actually love this washi to be very, very honest. And like I said, I'm going across the top. And then I'm going just here. I'm not going into these days. I have a cute little sticker I want to put here. But I'm going into these days so i am go yeah i was going to just like fit it in the corner but let's just make it easy on ourselves and just go across like that and then i have my gift card And then this side, of course, I have to go in the corner. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to press it down too hard because this way, if I have a little lump or a bump, I can go ahead and take it right out and not have to worry about, you know, creating any mess. I'm following this line and also where my um, days start. And I'm going to ahead and cut it like that. Now. I'm going to go on to the next one as opposed to doing this one right in here. Granted, I know it's going to be there already, but I just want to create a little flow to see how it works. So here's this. Now, what I'm doing is, because if I do it directly under, as you can see, it covers my days. So I'm going to use the days as a guide and put it just above, which means it overlaps on that just a tad so i'm going right on it basically damn and we're gonna go ahead and cut that as well and then go over to the next side and again i'm not sticking it down all the way 
but I am using my days as a guide. And I like the way it's looking. So now what I can do is I'm going to use this to go right under my days to get rid of this purple line. So here we go. And the purple line does shine through a little bit, but I think it adds some character. So I'm not going to worry about whiting it out, to be honest. It does add a little something that I like. And I'm bringing this all the way to the coils as well. Because I'm going to start this at the coils also. There we go. Now I have to lift it up because it got a little bit on the crooked side. So... So now on to my second half where I'm putting these two colors again to fill up this area because we have so much area. And I'm going to put this right under Gracious, that stuck to me. So embarrassing. Go ahead and hit it with a little cut. And then I'm gonna go over to the next side. Like I said, I'm, oh, I'm not, sorry. I'm not doing the next side because we're not going all the way across. I have a little sticker to put there. And then we're gonna do this one. And I'm using this line as my guide. And it just so happens that it's the same exact space. So I don't have to worry about overlapping. So you see how that works out? Fabulous. Bam. Um, I'm going to leave those days there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all the excess with my handy dandy scissors. And now we have clean pages to work from and a really, really cute uh, start to our spread. Now, for the rest of the spread, I'm going to be using this washi to frame out all of my weeks. So let's get on that. Now, yes, I did mark out my Labor Day, but I do have a wonderful Labor Day sticker, so no worries. I'm not going to forget the holiday. I mean, especially when that gives me a day off. Now, what I'm doing for this is I'm going on the line and going right above the um, numbers. Just like that. And I actually love this washi because it's super easy to tear. Alrighty. And it's best to just go little by little when you do this. Because truthfully, it's no rush. Hit this bottom row. And I'm using the bottom of the page as my guide. Now I'm gonna go up the side to like close in the gap. And I'm using the actual edge of the page as my guide. And I'm gonna cut it right here where the new washi starts and see everything turns out perfectly. It's so cute. It has that like 
wild jungle life feel. Definitely what I was going for. I don't know. I mean, granted, that has absolutely positively nothing to do with um, September. You know, Labor Day, back to school, all that wonderful stuff. But I don't have children, so I didn't have to do a back to school spread. So I decided to do something like super different. And that's where the flowers and wildlife look came in. The jungle approach. Maybe it's safari month and I just don't know about it. But nonetheless, I think it's coming out really cute. Like it's definitely what I was going for. So here we are. Almost done with this. So we're using, once again, the bottom of the page as the guide. And then I'm gonna go up the side and then it's time for stickers. Okay. So in going up the side, I wanna make sure that I'm creating enough space where I'm not hiding my two calendars. So it does overlap into the weekly line, just to tap it though. And then I just cut it at the bottom. And there we have it. Here's my wonderful washi spread for the month of September. So what we do now, we add in some stickers. And the first sticker I wanna add, I have from my Happy Memory Keeping is my Labor Day sticker to go on the Monday. And I tell you, I have everything marked out. You know, so I'm not sitting here like flipping through stickers with you guys, annoying you off. I kind of try to plan out my stickers a little bit in advance. I mean, every now and then I do run across a sticker where I'm like, ooh, that one's cute, I have to have it. All right, so we celebrated our Labor Day. And now we're gonna um, put in the stickers for the bills. So these are my bill stickers that I use, and I got it from the Zany Palette. She has an awesome Etsy shop. The link is below, and so is a wonderful coupon code. Hello. And we're gonna put in our bills. So, of course, the first, we always have to pay rent. You know, I'm so overpaying rent, let's just be honest. Um, and then we have to pay the cable. And then we have a credit card bill. And I think I'm gonna do everything in a green color. Another credit card bill. And then we have student loans. Darn those freaking student loans as well as the electric. Electric is through here. Right, now it's um, car insurance and the car note. Car note is always at the end of the month, which it should be like right around here. I usually pay it right around here. All right, so let's write some things in. And like I said, going with what we have, I'm going to use my fine liners in my nature colors. Totally came in handy. Let me see, how can you not like fine liners? Look at that, it has its own like stand. But anyway, let's write some things in. Rent, this is the credit card. This is, oh, Comcast, the cable bill. This is the credit card. This is the student loans. 
So what I do is I write the bill on top and then on the second line, I write the actual day I paid it and the amount. So yes, yeah, so it's doing the 15th. Well, this one actually gets withdrawn on the 15th because I have it on automatic payments. But like, let's say, all right, I'm going to pay my rent on time. But the whole Navy, that's my credit card bill. So it's due on the 8th, but I may pay it on the 6th. Or it may slip my mind and I may not pay it till the 9th. So I'll write the actual day I pay it and the amount that I paid on the line. This is my electric and this is my car insurance. And this is my car note. All right. Okay. So something like my car note. Like it's actually due on the 30th. But I'll pay it definitely by the 29th. And sometimes I actually pay it on the 20th. Like, I might actually pay it on the 27th. So, that's what I do with that. All right, now let's have some stickers. Enough of the boring, important stuff. Let's get some stickers popping. All right, so I have this wonderful sticker. So, I'm using my stickers collection from the 365 Create. And I have this wonderful sticker that says Happy. And I thought that was a beautiful way to like start out the month so i just wanted to put that here if i can get it down correctly yeah i wanted to put that down here got a little bubble in there all right there we go this beautiful happy sticker but that was like a great ode to you know a nice way a nice positive attribute to start out the month and i got this like this is your week because i'm all about creating like a positive atmosphere where i can thrive in and positivity positivity definitely begins to flourish and that's really what it's all about. So I've actually started cultivating um, a space, like actually cultivating a physical space that manifests positivity. And it's actually been wonderful. So I've done a lot of renovations to my home. Um, and just small things. Like it's not even like, oh, I gutted out the bathroom or I gutted out the living room. Nothing crazy <laughs> like that. But you know, a coat of paint goes a really, really long way. And it actually makes the space feel brand new. Like seriously, all I did was paint and like new throw pillows and various accessories. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is what I've been living the whole time. Like what? So that's what I've been doing. And that's what I will continue to do. And I think this is really nice. It says, love, laughter, and smiles. We're going to add that right here. And as you can see, I have a little color theme going on. Well, aside from this one. But I have a nice color theme going on. This beautiful one, it says, she loved life and it loved her right back. And I thought that was a beautiful quote to use for the month because I'm definitely feeling in like the whole love and life thing right now. Because like I said, I'm really manifesting and creating positive spaces. So positivity definitely flows. All right. So there we have it. Some wonderful stickers, and I think this is a really great foundation to definitely get the month going. You know, now that I've actually planned out my stickers and the things I want to use, I noticed that my planning doesn't take as long. So it may take, you know, an extra three or four minutes to actually go through my stickers at one time and see what flows and what works. But that pre-planning, because basically that's what I'm doing. I'm pre-planning my layout. It actually helps when I'm actually doing my physical layout. So I'm not sitting there flipping through books, you know, how I used to do. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if this likes. I wonder if this works. How is that going to look? No, I do all that. Like, I have my vision in mind of what I want it to look like. And I find stickers that go along with that. So, you know, I can work on my color patterns. 
and get everything to really be a cohesive unit. Um, I thank you guys ever so much for joining me today and helping me to create this wonderful spread so I can make sure that my month of September goes as smooth as possible. I thank you, thank you, thank you. And I definitely cannot, cannot, cannot wait to hear from you, talk to you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to go ahead and drop a comment below. If you feel more comfortable talking to me um, through email, go right ahead and email me. My email's there as well. But do not forget to follow me on social media. Go ahead and go ahead, hit the follow button. Grant some of my pages not private. So you don't have to worry about it being requested and wait to hear back from me. And when you do, make sure to definitely send me a message and let me know that you saw the video, you liked it, you didn't like it. Whatever the case may be, I definitely want to hear from you. Because if you didn't like something, that's constructive criticism and that helps me grow as well. So go ahead and send me any type of message you like. We can get to chat and get to talking and we can become best buds and that would be so awesome all right but anyway i will talk to you later bye bye